thought the eye of Helios would be an actual eye. This is what makes the eye of Helios work. It's the core of the entire weapon. How could this thing even generate that much power? Come over here, I'll show you. Once we get this baby back under our control, it could wipe out entire bandit cabinets with zero friendly casualties. Sounds pretty great, right? Yeah, sounds great. Pumpkin, you in there? What the hell is that? The Eye of Helios. Well, it's actually the Eye of the Historian creature that came out of the fall, but I attach it to my laser to increase its power tenfold. Because <clears throat> I'm awesome. Use the Destroyer's Eye as a weapon? It was a weapon already. All the Iridian remnants are. I just figured out how to use it. Anyway, how do we shut this thing down? Carefully. Even ignoring the weird-ass eye, this type of reactor is highly volatile. You're feeding it something that amplifies its power, aren't you? Oh, uh, runoff from the Iridium refinement process. Some of the scientists call it slag. All right. Do exactly as I say and everything will be fine. Switch three of the flow sequencers to their prime position and reverse the power differential. Um. Press the thingy until you see purple, then press the thingy again. Well, blew my chances with her. Great. Way to go, moron. the eye. And Mox, I only juice the eye with a little bit of slag at a time. Are you sure that... It won't hurt the eyeball. Trust me, sugar. during the reboot, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Thanks to the fail-safes, it couldn't possibly do anything other than shut down. Eh, yeah, well, agree to disagree. All right, let's get back to the command center. With Zarpa nuts dead, we can reboot the laser remotely from there. Oh, 
Alrighty, the bad guy's dead. We're about to save the moon and the vault full of cool ass alien stuff is apparently already open. Just shut down the laser and we can get to the fun part. Find it in that vault. I'll let you do the honors. Reboot sequence activated. Command control reset. Rebooting in five, four, three, two. Shutdown aborted. Invalid energy configuration. Ah, oh, great. What now? Jack. I'm sorry. I'm not. Warning. Singularity detected. Whoa! What the hell? Good job, everybody. What's Roxy? What the hell are you doing? Killing you. Trying to kill you. Two things I should have done a long time ago, you power-hungry psychopath. What do you mean, Roxy? How did you even... I've been watching you, Jack. And behind that smile, behind that hero complex, there's something wrong about you. If you come down from here and survive, a lot of empty city people will live to regret it. them all in time but for now we just need to get to that vault before they do dumb bastards probably want to destroy what's in there Zarpada on set a tangle of chemical fill she mean doll's old back of Burke refinery site get back to the moon's surface and check it out there's got to be something there that'll lead us to the vault what's going on up there John the readings we've got shut the hell up Tassadar shut the hell up my ex-girlfriend and her two BFFs just tried to kill me. And the last thing I need right now is your senile ass whining in my ear. If I get one more message from you that isn't out of boy, Jack, or I'm sending you a big bag of money, then I'm going to reach through my echo communicator and gouge your eyes out with my pinkies. Are we clear? I... Goodbye, John. Goodbye. Thank you for calling. Soda Jack, great job with the laser. Yeah, thanks. Just had to help kill a few innocent people and nearly get murdered by the girl in my dreams, but yeah, woo, go. After surviving your attempt on our lives, we headed to Zarpadon's refinery site to look for the vault. What? You'd already saved the room. Why not just leave? I was hired to find the vault. I don't leave jobs half finished. That and Lilith attempted to murder me. If she wanted the vault, I wanted to stop her. Yeah, <laughs> sorry I can't No, you're not. No, I'm not. So Roxy tried to kill Jack? She was down, huh? She's got layers, like an onion made of moves. Roxy plays her cards. Pretty close to the chest. I'm just saying something given her cup size. No, 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 we can, we can fix this. The destroyer's eye hasn't been completely destroyed. Just go get the rest of the country, the iris, and we can rebuild it. Go! Go!
I mean. Ah, 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 ah. The iris is toast, sir. This is a waste of time. Thank you for your opinion. Now keep going.
Now, get to R&D and reconstruct the iris. Hey, it just seems like we're... Just do it. Don't think. Don't doubt. Just freaking do it! Head to one of the bio labs. You're gonna reconstruct the eye and we're gonna run a test on it, all right? This will work. I know it. Ah! <sighs> 
Almost there. Now shoot it with a laser gun. If you need a laser gun, there should be one nearby. The scientists have to kill their own creations a lot more than you'd think. Don't you have enough on your plate already? I will never forgive them for this. Never. The things I could have done with a freaking eye. Hey, expendable moron. We're ready to resume construction on the inner hull, but the workers are whining about some sort of viral outbreak or something. Need you to get inside the quarantine section and see if this infestation thing is the real deal. Fun fact, the monthly operating cost of helium station exceeds three billion dollars and roughly four dozen human lives.
quarantined areas blocked off. You'll need to get to the maintenance tunnels and release some worker bots to open the way. Think you're up to the task? I'm not hopeful. All you'll have to do is push a few buttons. This will be so easy my brain-dead nephew could do it. And his favorite Echo Show is the Big Explosion Hypothesis. Sure you'll find a way to screw it up there. activates the Atmo failure. That's so if you die, we can send someone who isn't an idiot to do it correctly. The second button seals the doors, preventing you from jeopardizing the rest of the station and using up their oxygen. Bridging's a privilege, not a right. The third button will open access doors to the superstructure. It'll also vent all the Atmo, which means you won't have much time to release the bots before the failsafe kicks in and resets everything. Or you suffocate. The latter will be more fun. Finally, to make the atmosphere back, you'll need to turn on the force field for each access portal and seal the air inside. You get all that? Or did I use too many syllables? Get to work! Huh? <laughs>